Welcome to Queen Pib on Twitch. For your time, it's well wasted. Here we play the games of the 80s. It's the games of the 90s. The games of the odd. And occasionally the games of the beyond. And now, your host, who totally isn't doing their own intro, Patricia Inga Bogart. Hey there, I'm Queen Pip, Patricia, Inga, Bogat. You may also call me Trish. I'm a retro variety drag queen streamer. I'm a member of Team Stream Queens and your time here is well wasted. And there's only one question anyone ever really wants to ask me. I've decided. How do you do this, Pibby? I don't mean with this webcam, but this electric stick and this backdrop here. No, how do you do this? All of this, every single time you're live. And I figure, what better opportunity than the Stream Queen's Con to show you how I go from 185 pounds of Canadian baloney, I'd use a different term, but I'm trying to keep this clean here, to the hottest B word on Switch. And uh, I decided, why not use one of my most iconic outfits to detail it, the Fishnet Special. Now, a lot of what I do is centered around two particular facets of Twitch's attire regulations. The first one of which is if you are female presenting, and I am a drag queen, so I am, no exposed nipple or underbob. Cleavage otherwise is unrestricted. And, uh... Well, good. The second one is no exposed skin from the top of the hip to the bottom of the pelvis slash buttocks. And uh, you're staring at layers. Many, many, many layers. And uh, what better way than to give you a wonderful slideshow of how I get from the start to the finish. So that's what we're gonna do. So the average show I do, now I have a day job. I leave that day job at 4.30 and I'm live at six. And even though a lot of people working from home from quarantine, a lot of days I'm still in the office. So what I do needs to be fast, convenient, easy for me to do. Something that I can get in, get into the house, eat something, do this, and then bam, live on the internet. So this is how I do what I do. So we're gonna start out with, we got ourselves a big doughy cannot go over here. He's a good looking guy, but uh, don't tell him. It'll get to his head. Last thing you need is that guy having a big head. So, what's the first thing we're gonna do? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the sides. We're gonna slim the profile a little bit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on a corset to kind of slim the profile of the sides. Cause uh, Pibby looks incredibly svelte, but uh, used to be a much larger person. I think we have some file photos here. Yeah, it is that one. Yeah, it is that one. Oh God, not that one. Yeah, that one works. That gets the point across. I lost the weight, but you know, some of the surface area is still there. So this kind of helps to uh, pack some of it away. So of course it is step number one. Now, some looks I do, I don't need to do much else here, but as you can see the fishnet special now, I have the corset on, but you can't exactly tell because, I mean, it's up to like here, but, you know, you don't see it. So what are we going to do about that? What we're going to do is we're going to put on a tan tank top. We're just going to layer that on top. It does a lot of the work for it right there because, I mean, you can tell it's not the same tone, but I bet until I pointed it out, you didn't notice. And that's about 80% of it right there. Now, if I'm doing a look that perhaps involves um, exposed arms, I like to use a little bit of airbrushing for it in real life. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slap on a peach mesh top over top everything else. So that, uh, like example, if I just go here, like I think I can pull this away. Yeah, you can see uh, that's the top. Just some airbrushing, just some nice little cloak and dagger stuff. All right, so what are we gonna do next? We've, uh, we're nice and cinched. 
we've uh, airbrushed some of us what are we gonna do here's what we're gonna do we could use some hips so we're gonna put on some hip padding once again some nice wonderful hip padding purchased online at uh you know that place we all like to buy stuff now there's one downside with this garment it um tends to flatten out in your butt and uh, I don't know if you've seen me, but a booty's kind of a booty's kind of half of what I do. So we're gonna fix that with a fake ass. Now, I used to wear three of these, and I mean it got a little tight until it dawned on me. Wait a minute, why don't I just take the padding out of two of these things and stick them into the third? So if we check the side view here, ooh, would you look at that? That's a booty. Now, as Elix said to me, now that's a booty that you could uh, set a Coke can on and it ain't gonna fall over. So there you go. What are we gonna do next? We're gonna start working on the legs. We're gonna start getting the dark tights involved. We're gonna put on one set of very dark tights. It's doing a good job of starting to hide the skin down there, but I mean, you can still tell where the, um, the fake hips and the fake, uh, fake booty are at. So we're gonna slap on another one. And now you can tell it's starting to become much more opaque, much, much more opaque. And then to bring everything back up, like you see here, we're gonna put on one set of tan tights. And this is a big part of how I say, you're not, you're just staring at pants. Here's my fingers. I'm gonna place them on my hips. Notice how it's not the same color. It's not the same color. It's not. Pants. Seriously, I got this booty emote that Twitch keeps projecting, and it's like, it's not bare skin, it's pants. Whatever, I'm done having that argument with them for now. So next up, this ain't the fishnet special for nothing. So we're gonna put on some fishnets. Now, ultimately, every outfit I do will encompass fishnets in some form. Whether it be outright doing these kinds of fishnets, or if I'm doing like, say, stockings, there's always a set of fishnets involved. Now, if I'm not doing fishnets, I will do tan fishnets. They add a uh, texture to your legs that would otherwise be lost if I just did um, just the tan tights. And it's, it's, it's a good thing just to do in general. It just adds a little, hey, how you doing to your legs? So whatever, whatever I do, there's always fishnets involved. So here comes the next part. The part, the only part anyone ever really cares about. Let's put on some boobs. Yep. See now? See, we were in compliance with Twitch's regulations that said if your female presents in no nipple on the bob and no exposed skin from top to hips to down here. But I'm going to blur that out or put something over it. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll change it up as the video goes on. Now, I got a couple of different options in breasts. I started out using breast forms. They're like little, uh, they're like little uncooked chicken boobies. You can get them in assorted sizes and you just stuff them into a bra. The one thing I didn't, wasn't a really big fan of them for them though, is that they didn't really, they had have a tendency to just kind of squish together. They wouldn't kind of get the out thing that you get with a, with a titty bib like the one that I've got, which I'll get to in a moment here. You can also do what we call kind of a torso thing. Torso thing, that's a scientific term now, isn't it? This was purchased from Amazon. It's um, not gonna lie, kind of a pain to get on unless you like lather yourself in baby powder or something. I found putting a uh, hairnet on your head helps, from, helps it from getting all the hair just tug out of your head. I mean, if you got a shaved head or short hair, it's not a problem, but I got a long hair out of drag and uh, getting that thing on and off was a pain in the ass. Additionally, I felt as though they were much, again, narrower. I got kind of a large frame and uh, didn't feel like they were exploring all the space. So I don't use it as much. And of course, we've got the ones I use, the Elias Closet Double Ds. These are my money makers. These are the ones I got on right now, and uh, I swear by them. They're the best. I love them. You love them as well. It's science. All right. 
So now we got to put the fish nets on top of the bobs, which as you can see, we have now done. And then we're going to go ahead and take a bodysuit in this case, this particular one. Got it from Forever 21 a couple of years ago, even before I did the drag. And boom. Jump cut. So, bodysuits that I use on this program, 99 times out of 100, they have what they call a snap crotch. The idea being that you would attach it and just go in the bottom. Now, why would you need to know that? So, you know, we do this program on the internet. Sometimes we consume a beverage or two. And what happens in the middle of a broadcast? Oh, I might have to go relieve myself. Now, if I'm wearing something that doesn't have a quick release in the in the uh, crotch, wouldn't this whole thing have to come off? That would be a bit of a problem. So, as you may have noticed, a lot of the layers we've got on are just things that could theoretically just be lowered. So all I have to do is undo the crotch, get it out of the way, Lower the stuff, do your business, bring it back up, redo, there you go. Easy, convenient, well, usually, sometimes I'm just stuck standing there going, Ugh, would you just, get, uh, I gotta get back in front of here, would you? <sighs> anyway, back to wherever it is, back to whatever it was we were doing. So there we go. We've basically done all the Barbie doll stuff. I'm wearing an outfit. This would basically encompass the end of outfit planning part one. At this point, if I were doing makeup on stream, I would put on my hoodie, sit in front of the camera. Otherwise, I go into the washroom and I start doing my face. Fairly simple stuff. I'm not gonna go too in depth about what I, about how I do the look that I do, just uh, off the top of my head here. Uh, the foundation and pressed powder are both uh, Revlon. The um, eyebrow pen is L'Oreal. The eyeliner is a combination of Maybelline New York and House Labs. The lashes are 301s done with black duo uh, adhesive glue. And the blush, the lip, the uh, lip pencil, and the lipstick are all ColourPop. All right. Now that we've got the face on, now we're ready to complete the look. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna put on some boots. I got my big, uh, wonderful boots on here. They are, okay, so I can't find the exact information. I'm pretty sure I bought them on Amazon, but I can't seem to find the right keyword to make it come up in the search. But uh, the thigh high boots, like a four inch heel, pretty comfortable. Can you tell I didn't look it up before I recorded this video? Anyway. So I'm going to put on some boots. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on this little queen belt. This nice little extra piece of accoutrement that I nabbed from Fashion Nova. I got other kind of belts too, but this one's kind of the fun one. Then we're going to slap on the statement necklace. Now this is the big part here because this is what basically hides where I end and the bobs begin. So if I do this, like you can tell, like... There's, there's a difference. Now, this particular one um, did kind of stain the top of my bib, which if I wore any other statement necklace, then this might be a problem. But since this is the only one I usually tend to wear, I'm not really I'm not really uh, ticked off about that or anything, but just something to be aware of, I suppose. Next up, we're going to add my trademark controller holster. What this used to do before I started wearing wigs of the program is some looks. So you have the bib and perhaps I can kind of show you here, get this hair out of the way. So you can tell here where the bib ends and the rest of me begins. And in some outfits, the um, holster would actually be quite handy in covering up where that is. Now the hair, the wig is carrying a lot of water for that these days, but that was part of why I started wearing these because as I started going into drag, it's, look, it's one thing to wear a bodysuit, but when you can accentuate the torso a little bit, as that little extra, hey, how you doing? And what better way to do it than with my holsters that got my Nintendo controllers in them. It's a nice little extra accoutrement and, uh, I'll call it iconic. Here, I, I think, can I call something I do iconic? I'm legally allowed to call at least one thing I do iconic. I've decided that. 
So what are we gonna do next? We're gonna put on the long black gloves. Now, as you can see in the picture, um, they used to be proper gloves. Then I just kind of trims the fingers off of them because it's kind of difficult to work a, a fingerprint sensor in your phone when you're wearing gloves. And sometimes difficult to work the touch screen as well. I like taking a couple of selfies. So I just went ahead and I chopped that off. We're also going to put on some more accessories. We're going to put on this nice little... Uh, Nice little armband here. I'm gonna put on my Pride wristwatch. I've gone ahead and gotten a bigger one. This is an Invicta Grand Diver. It's my big Pride watch. Now, the one thing about this band is, you know, it's only these stock Pride colors. It doesn't have all of them in there, which is kind of a shame. And I tell you what, as soon as you can convince a Chinese textile factory to start making the wristwatch bands that encompass all of the colors we like to use these days, I'll go ahead and slap that thing on my wrist. I will definitely do that. Now my ears are also pissed, so I will put in some earrings, whatever I feel will go with the outfit. As well, I put on this black choker here, and um, it serves two purposes. One, a choker gives you a little extra, hey, how you doing? You happy to see me, huh? But also, so I have, as you can kind of see, I have a chin strap beard here. It's like one of the only facial hair configurations I can do that doesn't make me look like an idiot. But I don't present myself as a bearded queen, but I also make no real attempt to hide it. But what I can do is if I put the choker in just the right spot, some of you may not have even realized that facial hair was even there. Because if I go a little bit higher up, you can tell that my nat we, my natural contouring is there. But like this, you probably didn't even notice. Lots of smoke and mirrors. All right, what are we going to do next? We're going to go ahead and put on the wig. Now, I only started doing this recently. Um, I used to always do just my regular hair for, um, for all my looks. But it's like the one thing in like the last two years I haven't really innovated on. And the problem is when you're constantly using your own hair for your look, sometimes it gets a little stale. Sometimes you're just not having a good hair day. So I was like, screw it. Let's do some wigs. So while I still consider the uh, undercut to be the stock look of this channel, I have dabbled into wigs. And uh, I mean, I like it. You like it. Good enough for me. And then once I'm convinced, I don't need to putz with anything else. I can put my big, big gloves on. My uh, duking them out gloves. And then, there you have it. We're done. Looks ready to go. I'm ready to go live. <laughs> so there you go. That's how we went from nothing to this. Now, of course, like I said at the start of all this, this is how I strive to abide by Twitch's terms of services. Now, as to my understanding is that how the how it's written, I think we're good. Now, ultimately I am at the behest of whoever is enforcing the law on this platform at this time. I will say I've had multiple staff members come through and I'm still here, but this is why I also take several steps to ensure that people know they're not staring at actually me. I have a terms of service command timer that goes off every hour that spells out that you're staring at in order, briefs, fake hips, fake booty, fake booty, fake uh, black tights, black tights, tan tights. There's so many layers. As well as any time I do the tasteful outfit reveal, I also make sure to point out that these are pants. The pants. And, uh... That's basically the long and short of it, I think. Questions? Oh, wait, this... Wait a minute, this isn't a panel. Well, shoot. I hope that you thought this informative, interesting. You're more than welcome, obviously, to try it out for yourself. Once again, I am Queen Pib, Patricia Inga Boga. You may also call me Trish. I'm a retro variety drag queen streamer. I'm a member of Team Stream Queens, and your time here has been well wasted.
Have a good day. Oh, 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 oh,